15 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Spencer Strider. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell the fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Mookie Betts now at the plate as he swings through strike one. That's to third. Riley. And Betts is set down. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Hey. Swings through that one. Come Freddie on. Freeman Let's delivered drink. a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success, and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs, and more than 100 RBIs. That's a great season. Strike two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. The batter now will be Will Smith. Line, and that's a base hit. Around first, digging for two. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Long throw for the third out. Half inning complete. We've got no score. here in Atlanta and today's starter Shohei Otani well he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix so for him it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons he may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working but if he can control four or even five of those offerings look out hitters it's going to be a tough day he's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance and he's Damn. safe at first that's their first hit of the ball game Ozzy Aldi's up to the plate. If you were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. High fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. Home run! It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Austin Riley. Swing and a miss as he was oh, out front. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Only oh, two now. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Batting four. Here the is Matt Olson. Matt Olson. And a foul ball. Otani, a former All Star. He throws a slurve, a four seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. One out, base is empty. You almost have to feel bad for Matt Olson after what happened in 2023. He played every game, hit 54 home runs, drove in 139, led the league in slugging, and he still wasn't even named a finalist for the National League MVP award. Had him way out front of the slur. Two outs, base is empty. Marcelo Zuna. Next up for the Braves. Go ball, one strike. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Oh, well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. pick up two on the long ball and it's two zip it's major league baseball and it's on the show top of the second max muncie at the dish he is very much your typical power hitter i'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. On the ground, right side. Albies over to first, in time. One out in the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Next to hit, James Outman. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Strider, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And out of here. And they're on the board. It's 2-1. Two, two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit velo wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Swings through that one for strike one. Go ball. One strike. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the top of the second. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The 0-2. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Say goodbye to that one. They go back to back, and we are all tied up. It's 2-2. Talk about a clutch swing of the bat. He just changed this game in a big way. to back jacks and this club is fired up right now Bird. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow one down next is the designated hitter Chris Taylor swings and misses that's strike one
Still only one out here in the inning. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Rusty Valentine calling balls and strikes. Book, something I hear from hitters about Valentine is they know they don't have to protect off the plate too much in two strike counts, and that can be a big deal in terms of your confidence and seeing some pitches in that at bat. So be fair at 98 miles an hour. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Here's Jason Hayward. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Ball. One strike. And he deals. Late on that fastball. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Got him swing for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. 2 2 game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Here comes the 1. And that one is lifted in the air. Out and under it. Makes the grab one away. That is seven. The catcher. So here's Murphy now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a miss. It's all wrong. Base is empty, one away. Bottom half of inning number two. Swings and misses. Oh, two now. The pitch. In the air, right side. Pays hit as he pulls up short. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls Batting hit like that. But no left there's field. always a little room back no behind left. the first and second baseman no. to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Jared Kellner swings through it for strike Double. one. One strike. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Orlando Arcia. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Two outs. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Got him swinging. That's out number three. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back at Truist Park. New inning getting started. And now it's Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. The right-hander back to work. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. 
brings it in. And there's one away. The bat. The second base. Here's Mookie to hit. He's all for one. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And strike one to Mookie Betts. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And that one fouled off. All tied up. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Arcia rips it to first. And Betts is gone. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. In the air, right field. Acuna there. And that should be extra bases. Throws to second. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the third. All even at two apiece. for the last half of the inning. Now in for the Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr. Line drive. It gets down. Base hit. Lead off not. Puts the winning run on base. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just a solid swing right there. Pitch it into the outfield for the base hit. Oh, Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. No outs. Runner at first. And next for Atlanta, Ozzy Albies. No ball. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Swings through that one for strike two. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with a great swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one gone. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Swing and a miss. And it's a one one. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Swings and misses. 0-2. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And a pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. Kicks and deals. Got him swinging. Well, oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch no, after giving up the leadoff right single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. Yeah. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Here's Matt Olson. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. And fouled off. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Left-hand hitter waits. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. With the winning run on at first. Here in the last half of the third. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. That's the third out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Start of the fourth, and up to the plate is Will Smith. 
will. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a no double play opportunity set up. Man at second. Late on that fastball. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. And now it's Max Muncy. This guy with light tower power. Swings through that one. Four and one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's a one two. Got him swinging for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. So two down now, and here is James out. Fought off foul. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on. To the bottom of inning number four now. We are tied 2-2. Here with my pal Siggy, John Chubby, and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Marcelo Zuna. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that strike one. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these hitters are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Michael Harris getting ready to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. He's falling behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Try to punt his way on. Fires over to first. Beats him to the bag for an out on the bump. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Here's Sean Murphy. One for one with a single so far. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Two outs. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2.
and a pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. We're headed to the fifth. We are tied 2-2. We go to the top of the fifth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damn name of the game. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Swing and a miss to him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Taylor out of the play. And there are two outs. Now Jason Hayward now at the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Harris has a beat on it. Drops into the glove. And that's the third out. One left for L.A. Score remains 2-2. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Jerry Kelman. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. And a swing and a miss there. Swings over the splitter for strike three. Well, there's no shortening up with two strikes right there. I mean, it looked to me like he had one thing on his mind, and that was trying to end this ball game. You know, it's kind of surprising since he was leading off this inning, but when you look at the long ball and how often it's relied upon in terms of scoring runs, being able to win ball games, I guess I'm not so surprised with the way he went after that with two strikes. And he drops it down the third baseline. In there safely. Well, Singy, that was really nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bat angle was perfect. Barrel stayed above the hands. Could almost walk to first. So the batting order turns over. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. And here in extra innings. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Out of here. Ball game. He circles the bases, and they will walk it off. the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice one for the team.
And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.